Okay, today I will introduce relational database. Uh, relational database is something that is used um, by Microsoft SQL Server, by Oracle, and of course MySQL. So if you understand today my presentation, you actually can start working on all three of them. Um, so what is relational database? Relational database got all the inputs into the tables, and every time you go into query, you're getting outside inputs. That's from developer point of view. That's not from uh, end user. For them, you're building GUI. Uh, so they can, they can see whatever you decided to produce for them. But be aware of what's happening actually with databases, how you're getting to get your data in and data out. So we are talking about relational database. It's relational because there are relations. And they databases, relational databases have three relations only. It's have one to one, one to many, and many to many. It's look like a little bit longer. Okay. So, and it's very simple because many to many we cannot express. One to one, if you're creating one, most of the cases I would tell you you are wrong. So we have only one to many. And we're going to look at that. Um, so first relationship. The relationship is between tables. So for example, we have a table called student and we have a table called book. And now I would ask my students, and I'm asking you, and I'm going to answer, what's the relationship between these two entities, between two tables? So you can imagine inside, it's a very big table with students. That means we have their social security number, student ID, first name, last name, the addresses, telephone number, GPA, and so on. Book we have a um, um, ISBN number, title, publisher, and um, an author. What is relationship? Think about it. How many books a student can have? Many. That means we can have one student have many books. However, we can also say that some of the books, for example, a textbook, not the book, but a textbook, say relational database that you going to read, um, that particular book can be owned by many students. So can be also said that is many to one. So relationship, you can express many to many. Uh, many to many in this particular case, and there's nothing wrong with that. So one student can have many books and book can be owned by many students. Remember, I told you we cannot express. That means we have to break it into two one-to-many relationships that I already mentioned before. So we again have a student, student uh, table, and we have book table. And between them, we are going to have a, another entity, what we call bridge. And that bridge, it's actually table two. But the most important to know about that particular bridge that I'm going to call SB, student book, here we have many to one relationship. Even if our relationship going from this side, many to one, and one to many, we call them always one to many. So that's one explanation. Another one, it would be for one to one relationship. Very seldom happen, but few times we need to use it. For example, say I have a company that chartering planes. We have many employees. Some of them are pilots. Uh, if you're going to create a table pilot, and now I'm going to write it out. So here we have a table called pilot. And here we have many different columns that going to that where we're going to store all the information about pilots in our company. So it's going to be pilot ID, uh, it's going to be pilot first name, pilot last name, 
and so on and so on. All the information that you normally would take from people, the addresses, telephone numbers, email addresses. However, for pilot, we have something else that we need to store. For a pilot to be active, to be allowed to fly, they need to have, firstly, they have to have certificates, correct? Pilot license. And then they also need to have pilot uh, bill of health, I believe. Every six months, they have to go to a doctor. They have to be checked out. Now, remember, in our company, we don't only have pilots. We have stewardesses. We have technical crews. We have administration people, and so on and so on. So if we are going to make it easier for ourselves and say, OK, why are we having separate, separate tables for pilots and separate table for stewardesses, se separate part for administration people? Why are we not going to put everything together? So we're going to have a table, table called employee, in which I'm going to change it here. We're going to see what we're going to get here. So we have employee. And all the employees are going to have ID number. And they're going to have first name and last name. And of course, here is going to be uh, employee social security number, employee address, uh, employee phone, and also maybe employee email address. Very important. All right. So what's going to happen? We're going to have many, many, we have many employees. So it's going to be many uh, entrants here. So social security number, um, I'm not writing my own. I don't know if someone is having on earth. And of course, here's address going to be second Elm Road. Uh, here is going to be phone. And email address, something, something, add. And ID number, say, for example, one. And first is Ed uh, Johnson. There we're coming to license. And we're also coming to bill of health. Now, we have tons of people, say, for example, couple of hundred, and we have 10 pilots. So you can imagine what happened in this table. Columns for license and medical checkup are going to be empty. Only few places we are going to have dates or uh, type of license, and the rest is going to be empty. In order not to tie up memory, and of course, uh, even if memory today is much cheaper than a few years ago, it's still unnecessary having a table with many empty columns. So what we're going to do, we are going to take pilots out from the employee table and create a pilot table. In this pilot table, we are going to have only employee license, and I mean pilot license and pilot visit to doctor. And we're going to connect it to our employee table and that relationship going to be one to one. That means one pilot is also an employee an employee, it's, uh, one of them is a pilot. So relationship is one-to-one. -one. Even if you have many pilots, but the relationship is one-to-one. -one. It's not between people who are just uh, representing by row in each, each uh, table, but it's representing the relationship that each employee, one employee is, one of them is a pilot. And pilot, one pilot is also one employee.